back to another episode of Sleeping Giants Red Star Belgrade. Now, in our last episode, we were very... Well, I say... No, I'm going to say unlucky. I feel like we were. Um, but we should have taken our chances. So it is still our fault. But we should have won. Um, or at least got a point from Ajax. But we didn't. And we must move on from that and try to do our best today against PSG. But we've got to remember that we did beat them 4-1 here last season. Um, so hopefully we can give our, you know, form in Europe at home another round of the... Uh, I mean, I can't remember. Like, we've... I think we won all of our home games in Europe last season. Um, the only thing one we didn't win, I think, was the draw against Chelsea. And even that we probably should have won. So we're definitely very good at home in Europe. Now, before we do that, um, a couple of things to go over. Um, firstly, people... Um, I get comments, basically, about like the number of games in between episodes sometimes. And like it's difficult to know what to do because sometimes there just isn't that many games in between two really important games. And it, it's difficult to know what to do. Like At the same time... Like, obviously, I want to put as much into an episode as I can for you. But at the same time, I also do have to, you know, make these videos. And they do take a long time to make still. Because it's not like I make two a day. I put out two a day. I don't make two a day. I have to make a lot more than that when I actually get the time to do it. And thus, it does sometimes mean that I have to put less in an episode. But at the same time, I still feel like I'm putting, you know, 20 minutes of content minimum per episode that I produce. So it's still quite a lot to produce every single day. Um, I'm just, I'm doing my best is all I can say, basically, on, on that particular front. And the other thing is, it's my birthday today. So that's fun. Um, hopefully, that means that we'll get even more luck against PSG. That is, I'm just hoping for anything right now. Um, anyway, let's get into the games. Now, this month has continued much in the same vein as the previous months, uh, in the sense that we are winning and looking very good doing so. But more importantly, Juan Ignacio Bazan Vera looks absolutely glorious in his... Like, he's starting to look ridiculously good now. Like, as if he wasn't already before, but now he's offering something else. Great ball in from Ristic and a wonderful header at the back post... Not even at the back post, to the, to the back post from Bazan Vera for his fourth goal of the season already. I think he could get 10 goals for us this year. I genuinely do. And of course, that got us the start we needed. It took us a little while to then get our second goal. But once we did, uh, it was all plain sailing from then on. Um, if, I, if I recall, this was a... Oh, no, wait, yeah, no, apologies. Gaic did unfortunately get injured in this game, which was a shame, though. Um, and he's going to be out for a little while. So, disappointing. But Toshka is on the mend now. He's back into um, light training. So, hopefully, within a couple of weeks, we can have him back and firing for us. Because uh, he's, he's important for us. You know, Militich has not started the season all that well. And Toshka certainly had done. So, it's a shame. And Militich has really not been able to force himself into the team all that much. I mean, look at this from Jovic. Lovely stuff here. Into Ristic, and it comes to uh, Militic, who shot is deflected, and there's Milan Gaic at the back post to score his first goal of the season. Unfortunately, I think he got injured in this game, so he's going to be out for a little while. He might not be able to hit the heady heights that he has in previous years. Just after half-time, though, things got a little bit more comfortable for us as Gaic puts the ball in, and Luka Jovic with a big header, doing what he does best and winning balls in the air for his seventh goal of the season. He'll definitely be top scorer for us yet again. Ball in this time from Antic, drops it short, though, to Savitric, and there is Nico Kaspers, who'd come on as a sub in this one to score his first ever goal. Great to see him getting on the score sheet. Great to see some of the youngsters just getting on the score sheet in general. Unfortunately, um, despite having 10 men at this point, they won a free kick and they scored it. Our ability to keep clean sheets is still not looking too good. Although, admittedly, slightly weaker team in certain areas. We're trying to rest some players. You know, Bazan Vera and uh, the like were starting to get a bit jaded. Although, admittedly, he did play this one. Um, in our next match, we had a cup match against Radniki. And 5-2 sounds a little bit weird. And I agree, it's a bit of a strange one because, you know, they're a third-tier team. And we should have been doing a lot better. But one man who had an absolute blinder today was Boyan Horvath. He was so, so good in this match. Um, really starting to stake a claim. You know, he's showing me a little bit more this season now and he's going to get more appearances look at this ball from Kaspers he did that a few times um, in this game like a couple of wonderful passes over the top to Jovic which actually Jovic was able to you know not put in the net on two of the cases look at this from Adamenko just goes the whole way and eventually it's an absolutely wonderful little cutback to Horvath and a goal I mean that's the sort of play that Adamenko brings to us and it's just a completely unique thing like He's such a good fullback, it is unreal, and I'm hoping we can keep him for as long as possible. But we do have some good ones coming through. Anyway, whipped in, of course, here, cleared away. But again, comes back to Badamenko, and what does he do? Well, he's going to whip it in instead. Um, and of course, it's caught. But there was more. You know, we're only 1 0 up at this point. We have plenty more in the tank. But Bojan Horvath scored two goals in this game and got himself two assists. We just played some genuinely very good football in this one, and and admittedly against a, uh, a third tier side, but it's still nice to see like some of the football we were able to play. You know, we're a good footballing team, and it's nice. It's nice to watch. They're pleasant. Um, then again, I would say that because we're practically winning all the time. Um, 
I think they actually equalised. Yes, yeah, sorry, what am I talking about? Um, Radnicki actually equalised on this one through Milos Lukic, and that was disappointing because, you know... Then again, we only had one clear-cut chance apiece, and we still managed to score five goals against them. Another good header from Bazan Vera with his fifth goal of the season already now made it 2-1 not long after that, and it kind of got the confidence flowing again, and by half-time we were really cruising, you know. Um, not long after this again, we managed to get our third goal of the match with some absolutely lovely football on the edge of the area, if I recall. Um, just... Oh no, round the corner for Jovic, just our fourth goal. Sorry, that's the really, really good one. You know, Jovic getting on the score sheet too, with goal number eight of the season. Always nice. But it was the fourth goal that really just, yeah, was a, it set them apart with some of the lovely football near the edge of the area. So out to um, to Fezic, ball in here for Kaspers, drops it in for Horvath, round the, round the corner, and Jovic into the back of the net. Lovely stuff. Lovely one-touch play as well. And um, more of that, please. That was our ninth, that was his ninth goal of the season. Ball in again. And, well, we had time to make it 5-1, you know, just to get make sure we got a few more goals. Savitovic inside, Kasper's a lovely ball through the channel there, and Horvath making it 5-1 with his second of the game and third of the season. He's doing okay, I've got to say. They did then get one more back late on after we really started to push to try and get more goals, just to sort of... I did bring on a lot of players after that. I brought on um, Ulier and, like, yielded him in the midfield and uh, Kruper at the back just to give some of these guys a run out in a game that we're already you know guaranteed to win so get them some first team football maybe get them a chance to get a goal under their belt it was poor defending here i must say i don't know what he's playing at but it's a good ball through i don't know what the goalkeeper's doing there either um just terrible play all around but that seems to be how we concede a lot of our goals now just from genuinely terrible play um so there we have it now um in our last game of the month we were away at borac and this was a good one a really tough one for us because firstly brats are a decent team but We've had a relatively weak inside, like Kofi, Marianne came in, um, Horvath again started up top in this one, Sadibi, but we did it, you know, with a slightly rotated time, well, sorry, it was more rotation, I believe, actually. We are still capable of winning and winning well, and that means that we can rest players for Champions League matches without really so much bother, I suppose. Sadibi here, down the wing, good ball in. And eventually it rattles into the net from Militin and Militic with goal number three of the season. You see what I mean? Like, he has the same number of goals as Boyan Horvath, but has played a lot more matches. So he does need to sort of up his game a little bit. And in the 90th minute, a lovely strike there from Sadibi. I mean, Sadibi's got three goals this year as well. So, hey, good stuff. A 2 0 win away at Borac, uh, Borac, giving ourselves our seventh straight win of the season. Seventh straight win? Yeah, seven wins on the bounce. And that leaves the league looking like so. And as you could see, Partizan have still had a great start of the year. Six wins out of seven for them. Only two points off the top still. They are cruising at the moment. And they've only conceded one goal so far, but we have scored 27 times. So there is also that. Um, you know, that, that is the, the kind of the key thing to note here. Yeah, we may have conceded a few more, but we've done a lot with regard to the whole scoring thing. So that's always good to see. Seven straight wins from the start of the season. I don't know how many games we're unbeaten now, but it's got to be something massive. Right, let's take a little look at the squad. Top goal scorer for us is Luka Jovic with 9 in 9. Um, Bazan Vera has 5 in 8 and is the second best scorer on our team. Zvicevic, despite that good start, only has 3 in his first 10 now. Militic has 3 in his first 5 slash 7. Sadibi also has 3, as does Horvath. So a lot of goals from all over the pitch, which is, guess, quite nice. Assist-wise, Zvicevic with 7, Ristic with 6. Player of the match, Ristic with 3. Uh, yellow cards. Uh, Bazan Vera and Adamenko with three apiece. No red cards as yet. Average rating, Ristich with an 8.22. That is very, very good. Um, key aerial challenges, Luka Jovic should be right up there. Oh, Kone is starting to overtake a little bit now. Key passes, of course, Ristich with 51, although I think he had a similar amount in the last, but he's missed a few games this month, I must say. Uh, key tackles, Kone with nine. Interceptions, 71 for Bazan Vera, and value is also Bazan Vera. Interestingly, Jovic's value has fallen to 1.5 million now, but Chufedzic is really rising. I, I just, I can't think of a way to get Luka Jovic to, like, we just, you're unhappy at the club, but well, how are we supposed to, I don't know how we can fix that in between now and the end of the season, unfortunately. That's the issue. Like, I haven't got any way of, oh, we can speak to him. Okay, let's see if we can praise him for his recent form. Um, see if that'll, see, he's got, his morale is superb. And I just don't know how we can fix this. You know, how do we make him stay? Or is there any way we can do that? Or should we just cash in on him in January if we can? Because otherwise we might not have him at all. You know, we might not get anything for him. And that's just disgraceful, um, which is a massive shame. But what can you do? Um, anyway, let's get into the match preview. We're playing PSG today. And obviously, you know, 
it's the home match, so it's crucial that we put in a good performance, and we have done in the past. So I feel I see no reason why we can't do it again today. Full strength team, hopefully. Jovic, Militic, Sadibi, because Gaic, of course, is slightly injured. Savicevic on the left, Ristic, Chufedzic, Antic, Bazavira, Kone, and Adamenko. Stankovic in goal. On the bench, we've got Benyak, Marianne, Yildrim, Hova, Krupa, Kaspers, and Kovacevic. So, yeah, a relatively strong side. As you can see, Toshka is nearly uh, ready, but he's going to take a little while just to get his mojo back, I would have thought. So let's do this. You know, PSG, tough, tough, tough team. But I think if we're any chance of getting through again this year, we need to win this. Um, it's crucial. We need to win all of our home games to get those nine points. And if we can get those nine points, I'd feel pretty comfortable that we are going to do our best. But the only problem is they do have Lionel Messi up front. Ah. That could be the difference, really, today, guys. I think that's, the, you know, they didn't have Messi up front in the last time we played them, and the fact that they do now means that, yeah. Um, that being said, I'm just going to have a little look at Messi and see... So he's 34 years old, uh, still... Well, he's worth 4 million, he's still got bloody incredible stats, but how... Does he move on a free? 3.9 million. Um, wow, okay, so there you go, guys. Um, ha, whew, over 400 goals. I just hope that... He's knackered and old or something. I don't know. Um, we've got to do our very best to get the win here. It's going to be a tough one, but we're going to really go out and have a crack at it. You know, I feel that we're better than pretty much any, virtually anyone we come up against when we play at home. I can't remember the last time we lost a home game. Um, we didn't lose any domestically last season, and we didn't lose any... Oh, and what a save from Stankovic. We didn't lose any home games in Europe last season either. So I'm trying to think the last time we actually genuinely lost a home game. I think it might have been... I don't know. Uh, it was the. I think the last time we lost a home game may well have been the Bayern Munich game in last year's Champions League. Uh, sorry, the season before's Champions League. And I think that might be our only defeat at the Maracanã for literally two seasons. Um, and hopefully this today we can continue that. But PSG do look a better. They look a bit of a better prospect than they did against us last time, and that is worrying me um, because we're playing our usual good home formation where we try to control the game. But mm, it's not happening for us. Uh oh! Please don't get sent off. Thank you. Um, Right, so they've had a couple of shots to start with, but... Uh, oh, Ristich is in here. Can he find a pass? Jovic. There's a little bit of space opening up here, and that's a really poor... It's a military... Oh, what was that? That was a useless finish. First good chance of the game goes to Red Star, and it is once again squandered. We just not... Oh, Cristante. Oh, go on. Go on. Send him off. That'd be perfect. Ah, oh, gets away with the warning up. I'm certain I'm on key highlights here. Yep, we're on key highlights. Bazan Vera with the free kick to Ristic. Don't lose the ball immediately and get countered on. To Fedzic, Sadibi. Comes inside here. That's a good bit of play from him, actually. Around the corner for Militic. Sets himself up. Jovic! There we go. 1-0 Red Star Belgrade. Chance taken. Chance scored. Oh, Red Star 1. PSG 0. That's better. That's more like it, lads. And, oh, Sacco's been booked as well. Great work from Sadibi here. Great vision from um, Militic to actually play that pass to Jovic. I thought he was going to shoot and end up missing it, but Jovic gets his 10th of the season and our first of the night. Now, we're not going to go defensive or anything just yet. We need to get ourselves a bit more of a lead. Um, I'd like to see us get a two-goal lead before we do that, unless it's sort of later in the second half, and oh, great. Um, oh, that's a goal. Oh, there's a guy on the post. Oh, right, okay. Um, we don't really have anyone to complain. Oh, actually, yes, we do. Adamenko is going to have to switch wings, which is not ideal. And Marianne's going to have to play right back, which, again, not ideal. Um, it's one of these times I wish I'd have put someone like um, Ashraf on the bench, but I think he's going to unload. That was disappointing to concede there. It looked like there was a guy on the post, and he's just let it go straight through him. Um, it's a shame. I mean, it's messy, of course, but like it looked like there was a guy right there. Oh, brilliant. Well done, mate. Just move out the fucking way. Great stuff. Um, well, we can't not, can't not let Messi score, can we? Um... Okay, so back to one all. I still feel that we've got a chance here, though. Tufedzic, Ristic. Can he slip it to Sadibi? Can Sadibi find another good pass? He can! Militic! Goal! 2-1 Red Star. Some nice work there down at the byline from Sadibi. He's been really, really good in today's game so far. And we are back in front. And I think deservedly so, just on the basis of the number of chances we've created. Sadibi does really well to fashion a chance here. And Militic maybe shouldn't have taken a touch, but he does in the end. And he's managed to score this time. Hopefully that will get him some confidence back. Right. Now what? We need a we need a third goal. Once we have got that two goal lead, I can shut up shot. But shutting up at one with a one goal lead is just inviting pressure. With Messi and Co in the team, it's suicidal. Uh, Sadibi, can he win the header? He can, but nobody's going to be able to get on the end of it, unfortunately. Uh, Ludogorets are three nil up against Ajax. Um, that's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, that Ludogorets who were lost who lost seven nil remember against this PSG side are now beating Ajax who beat us three nil. And 
good save from Stan. And bear in mind, we're beating the PSG side that beat Ludwig at 7-0. So in theory, that means we should be beating Ajax like 50-0 because, you know, that's how football works. Uh, oh, God, Messi, Romero. Oh, dearie me. What is that? These sort of goals, they're just like... Let me, is this one of these ones where he somehow managed to control it with his head and almost carry it in midair? Because it looks like it. I, I'm pretty certain that's what that's going to be. It's going to be one of these ones where... Yeah, look at that, where the ball is just glued to their head, but also about two inches from it. Lovely stuff. Um, <laughs> right, to all. We go again. That's disappointing again. To, you know, to keep getting ourselves back in front and just keep getting... Uh, right, go through again. Jovic! There we go, 3-2 Red Star. We are going for it in this game. My God. We're having a good crack. And also, Ludogorets are 4-0 up against Ajax, people. That is happening. And at the moment, this league is going to be dead tied on uh, points at this stage, which is perfect for us, really. Because Ajax getting points taken off them could be what we need, um, you know, since we lost to them. We need to make sure we win all our home games. And today, we're giving it a bloody good crack. It's been a... Yeah, we should mark... Why weren't we already marking Messi is my question. We've... Ooh, it's been pretty even, actually, in the first half. We've had a little bit more on the shooting, but other than that... It's been very, very even. Two goals for Luka Jovic, doing what he does best and doing Champions League football, essentially. Um, right. I still don't feel like I can change to that system just yet. So what I'm going to do. I am going to change to it. But if we concede, I'm going to immediately switch back again. Um, but I feel like we might have a chance to defend this and just win 3-2 rather than opening up in the second half. You know, they might be expecting us to try and get that fourth goal, but I'm just going to try and sit and see if we can keep the lead if not we'll immediately switch back to the other tactic again basically um but i just want to see if we can strangle this game for the last part of it but i just don't know if that's going to be possible it is psg and oh messi's through again there we go it basically the difference between us and them last year and us and them this year is messy he's unplayable and we are not being able to play him basically um, and at the moment we're going bottom of this group right Let's go. We go again, basically, guys. We go again. We've let, we've taken the lead three times in this game. We've been pegged back three times. We need to take the lead again. See if we can do this. Sadibi. Militic. Is there a man in a good position? Ristic! Oh, good save. Good strike from Ristic. Good save. We've looked better again since we've switched back to this tactic, and I think I might stick with it now, because I think we're playing better when we use it. So hopefully um, we won't make any horrible errors um, coming in this game, but only time will tell if that's possible. Oh, Ristic is through here. Rist oh, and another good chance goes begging for us. We've taken a fair few of our fair few of our chances in this game, though it has to be said. Um, I'm trying to think who's I'm going to bring on Horvath because he's in good form lately, and I want to see if he can bring something to the table here. And the other substitution might end up being Nico Kasper's a bit later on. Uh, well, I'll piss off, and of course it's made that disappear now, hasn't it? Four-one uh, in the other game. I'm just. Not entirely sure where to go with this, you know. We can't afford to throw everything at them because, you know, well, sods not, we will lose the game if that happens and Messi will make sure of it. But, oh, come on, guys. Ricardo. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> not having it in Europe this year, are we, guys? Um, wow. Um, didn't even look like Stan touched that. It looked like it deflected off of nothing. Oh, no, he did. Um, just palmed it straight into the path of Lucas Moura. Right, okay. We go again. Europe's starting to take the piss a little bit now. Like We were better than Ajax and we lost. And we've been at least as good as PSG and we look like we're going to lose again. Um, we're going to overload for this last 10 minutes. We are going to shoot on sight because why the hell not? Um, I'm disappointed because we've taken the lead three times in this game and been pegged back. Uh, have we got another goal in us? Even if we got a four-all draw, it would... Oh, Sacco's going to be gone. Okay. So, six minutes against ten men now of PSG. Um, you know, I don't want to lose both of our first few games in Europe. This is really poor. And we've not even played that badly in either of these games. But, messy. <laughs> now we're going to take ages over the free kick, so just bide your time. Uh, go get yourselves a bevy, and uh, yeah, join me when they actually take the free kick, I suppose. They've actually had a few more shots on target towards the end of this game. Ristic with a free kick. Deflected! Oh, and that's going to be 4-4. Four, four. Savicevic now. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't remember the last time we had a 4 all draw. And this is in Europe, ladies and gentlemen. We had that 5 all, if I recall. So we've just benefited from one of those bad goalkeeping things. I mean, look at this. It's poor. Uh, but Savicevic has made the most of it, and it's 4 all. Can we get one more goal? Have we got one more in us in the latter stages of this game? Come on. Come on, guys. The draw is not really good enough. Um... 
Well, I say the draw isn't good enough. It's okay, but the win would just be absolutely vital for us. If we were to win this from here, it would just be the best result probably of the save so far. We've got three minutes and I don't think it's going to happen, but we've given it a good shot. Oh, hello. Hello. There's one more highlight. It's going to be PSG winning it with 10 men now, isn't it? Um, I can feel it. Oh, Ristich is going to get... Oh, come on! <sighs> brilliant. Well done, Milo. That's brilliant stuff. But let's get sent off in the 92nd minute. Good stuff. Right. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get... Well, we've got to go again. It doesn't matter now, because that is it. But, uh, oh, hello. Jovic, free kick. Oh, over the bar. A four-all draw here. Not the worst result, but also probably could have been better. Um, I guess it's a big result, but I feel like we probably should have... But at least, oh, I don't know, when you look at it, we had five clear-cut chances apiece. We had a few more shots. They had one more on target. Four or draws, probably about right. Um, but Messi doesn't half make a lot of difference. But my God, Barcelona got beat 7-1 by Benfica. Uh, enjoy that one, Benfica fans. So a four or draw. Exciting, if nothing else. Um, but imagine if we'd have got the late winner there. That would have been truly brilliant. But only one point from our first two games in Europe. and But we're still unbeaten um, at home, I guess. There is that. But it's all going to be about those Ludogorets and Ajax games. We have to go win uh, in Bulgaria, and Ajax clearly haven't been able to because they've just lost 5-1 there. So our chances are very much down to whether we can win in that game. So in our next match, um, I'm going to try and do something a little bit more. I'm going to try and push forward a little bit more. So we're going to do the Ludogorets home game as our next match, not the away match, because you guys want to see more games, which means I'm going to have to skip games like that otherwise. Um, no, sorry, you don't want to see more games. You want to see more progression in between i'm doing my best um so there we go that's what i'm gonna have to do um so yeah uh, join me next in the next episode where hopefully we'd have got our first win if we can win in bulgaria but that does look a lot tougher than i would have thought now actually if they're capable of being ix 5-1 then who knows it does seem like home teams in europe do seem to get a pardon me apologies for that do seem to get quite a boost like in, i've noticed this on my pompey save too that locomotive moscow were able to beat teams like juventus like three nil and we're seeing a lot of this. Home games do seem to be quite important in Europe, especially since the update, I've noticed. Um, but there we go. So in the next episode, yeah, well, we're doing the Ludogorets home match. In between them, we've obviously got a couple of league games. We've got Partizan oh, at home, which is crucial. Uh, Bizani, then we've got the away game. We've got Donnyshrem. We've got a cup match, and then we have Spartak. I'd like to win all four of those league games to come into that next fixture with uh, 11 straight wins in the league at the start of the season, and hopefully a bit more of a gap over Partizan, even if it is like only five or six points. So guys, if you like what you're seeing, please drop a like on the video, and if you'd like to see even more than that, please subscribe to my channel for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock, and I will see you guys in the next episode for the match against Ludogorets. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.